A lot of questions this time of year about Advent. What is it, and why do Christians light so many candles? Well, let's go through that story. But before we do, don't forget to like the video down below, or hit subscribe, or leave a comment. That really does help the channel out. Advent is one of those seasons, one of those times, that a lot of churches just seem to do. Many of our churches, no matter the denomination, no matter the style, the liturgical or low church, all these things, usually have some sort of celebration in the four weeks running up to Christmas. How did this get started? Well, it's actually impossible to determine the earliest dating of Advent. We don't have any real smoking gun here. We don't have a lot of information. By about the 4th century, though, we do begin to see comments about the celebration of Advent. What seems to have happened, of course, is Easter and Christmas become the two more or less fixed celebrations in the life of the church. Easter made a great deal of sense because it was related to the Jewish celebration of Passover. Christians had a different dating for it, a different way to mark the time and determine which Sunday would be Easter. Christmas began to fall on December 25th, in part because it was around the darkest time of the year. No one, by the way, believed that Jesus was actually born on December 25th. But since it was the darkest day of the year, and it was already something of a holiday, you might say, in modern lingo, for the Roman world, a celebration of now the dark days will begin to get lighter and lighter as we get towards spring, it only made sense for Christians to begin to celebrate the coming of the light of the world. So once Easter and Christmas especially are fixed, what begins to happen is those become the horizons of so much of the church year. The first half towards Easter, the second half towards Christmas. And it seems to have been only natural that the several weeks before begin to take on new significance. You're marching week by week closer to the big date. In this sense, Advent becomes the run-up to Christmas. That really is all it is. Advent is marking the days as we get closer and closer to the commemoration, to the celebration of the birth of our Savior. The earliest real dating that we have of this occurs probably in 380 AD at the Council of Sargossa. This is in the area of modern-day Spain or France. And what had happened is there was a heresy called Priscillianism. And this is a Gnostic heresy. It actually is relatively anti-physical, if that makes sense. It is more into spiritualism. And it rejects or it resists any idea that our physical bodies or this creation is made good. And there does seem to be some connection here because if the heresy you're offsetting is this idea that the physical body, that the physical world is itself evil, well, it seems to be that a good celebration would be Christmas. The day Jesus came, God himself took on human flesh. Whether or not that's the case, we really don't know. But it does seem to be that in 380, There was this commemoration that was doubled down on, not created out of thin air, but it was encouraged that Christians would attend the church services, if possible, once a day. Now, what happens is over time, Advent takes on new significance. But it's not the same as it is today, at least identically. In the historic practice of Advent, there were actually two weeks set apart for a different service or a different focus, and two weeks set apart to focus on Christ in the manger. You see, the word adventus is a Latin translation of a word in the Greek New Testament, parousia, which is the coming, the entrance of the Lord. Now, the word parousia, and by extension adventus, refers to two things. First of all, the coming of Christ himself in human flesh, but also the coming of Christ again, what we today call the second coming. So Advent and its historic practice actually had two weeks set aside to reflect on the fact that Christ will come again, that all things will be restored on earth as they are in heaven. And then two weeks were set aside to focus on the first coming, Christ in the manger. There really is no controversy about Advent. It is just one of these celebrations, though, that arises over time. And so, by the time you get to the modern era, especially to our time now, Advent is more or less fixed. Now, in the modern church, one of the things that's interesting about Advent is it's a useful way to focus the church, to focus Christians on the importance of the real story behind the Christmas story. It's a way, in other words, of getting them off the consumerism and focusing instead on the one who came to save and the one who will come again.
and glory. 